um, like punches. Like there are punches, obviously. It was mostly like forearms or like uppercuts. Uh, um, your fish? No, like like the all chest here. Right. So like, Put your tits on the face. Kind of. So like, you're facing me. But I don't understand. He's <laughs> like. And she's she going out and she's like, what? <laughs> well, because it, it was like no like striking striking, it was like too bad, I think. And so it was more like two forearms bite. here, or like an uppercut here, or like oh, a European like, uppercut. Here. Like a movie. Yeah, pretty much. But like, if you still have to make contact like with the chest for it to like look and sound good. So, um, but now, like since I've been back, like so much stuff's always like changing and evolving. Like they, you can do punches and there's so many different ways. That's what Wanda Rousey doing punches. Well, and it's, it's dumb if she didn't because like that's her shit, yeah, you know? Yeah. But like, um, there's like obviously safe ways to do it. Like I don't feel comfortable punching because like I'm kind of like a... Yeah, you're trying to hurt people. I, 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 I'm like a and I will accidentally do it. So, um, I, you can do it like, um, that? Hold on. Let me get it. Put it up here. Yeah. So, you can hit here, like, last minute, like that, or you can hit your own. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So that they and don't, then, like, really like that that much. And, I, and they used to, and when they used to do it, when I used to watch it, they were, like, stomp when they punch. Yeah, they <laughs> So if you're good at it and like you can't figure out like where the stomp is or whatever and it still makes a good sound then they're cool with it but like they're trying to get away from that because it's like really old school like doing the stomp. I feel like old school, school. I feel like old school is the best school, right? I mean, and there's still- so Alright, so I don't know because I stopped watching wrestling a while ago. Is it, is it better now or was it better back then? Because it was, to me, it was fucking magic back then. It just depends on like what you consider better. Like it's more be so there is something called kayfabe, which is like if you're in the world of like professional wrestling, um, and if you know like you and like the people that you work with know what's going on, and everybody else who's like a fan or a spectator doesn't really know. Like they're like what's real, what's not real, and so since like reality TV and like all the like E spinoffs and other shows, um, there's like a lot of the like, kayfabe doesn't really exist anymore. So there's so much. Everybody is like, everybody uh, like a magician. Like, everybody knows the tricks. Yeah, yeah. So, but, I, but all right. So maybe I'm not far off the loop. But I feel like I don't know the tricks. Well, so people are like, oh, wrestling's fake. Like, that's like the worst thing you can say to someone who does professional wrestling right, because right. like it's it's scripted. It's predetermined. But like the shit you do is very fake. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you, you get hurt all the yeah. time, and like obviously you're trained to protect somebody else, and right. like you have to like have a certain like body awareness. Yeah, that for yeah. sure. And then like an understanding with who you're fighting because like. My my best matches were always the people I was like best friends with because like you always have the best. You always try to make your opponent look great because like even if you if you don't like who you're wrestling, like you still want to make them look good because if you're winning or losing, you don't want to look like shit like you lost to somebody who isn't any good or. Like, and you want your matches to be like legendary. Yeah, so like the, the goal is to always make who you're wrestling like look like a million bucks because it just makes you look better. It makes the fight the story better, and um, you know you can do like. You can only know how to do like five moves, but if you make every so everything you do in a match is like to set up for your move. So like all you know how to do is like a body slam, drop kick, like head lock takeover. Everything you do in the match is to like lead up to those things to make them mean more. Even though you see, like generally, like, if you do like twenty like super high flying impressive moves, they don't mean shit. It's like uh, don't execute your it, 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 it doesn't make sense like in right. the story. And, um, yeah. So there's so much like. And people go rogue. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, it's never happened to me, but like a I lot. Wanna, of I want to try out and get in and then go rogue. Yeah, yeah that's. That, uh, we've had this conversation before. You're, you that because when that happens, like especially if it's TV, like if you have a TV match and you're like, okay, you have 10 minutes, all the time, every single time, you're gonna have like, okay, you have eight minutes, eight minutes, so you like. In your head, you know there, you, there's like a structure to the match, and then if you get in there and the ref says, "Hey, you guys got two minutes left," you have to know and you have to communicate with your opponent. Hey, we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna go straight to the cut off or the key or the finish or whatever. And um, so it's like there, there's, and then you can even have all of your time, and then like the crowd not be into it. And like if the crowd isn't into your match, there's no fun. You can have a great technical match, but if they don't care about it, then there's like you have to figure out how to change it during the match. So that's the, that's the hardest part. I need you to talk to some execs over there. Proposal. I'll come. I'll come on in. We can skip the audition. Okay. Just walk right in there.
I'm gonna walk in, I'll start Monday. But okay. I'm gonna be a referee, but I'm a road referee. Okay. Nobody knows. But I'll be, I don't know, maybe on the bad guy side, helping them out when they're in trouble. It's a good story. It I, think, I think it will. It's a good it story. Work. It's all about, like, if you think about wrestling, not so much, it's a context for it, but, like, if you think about it, it's a soap opera. And the good guys yeah. and the bad guys. It's a soap opera with, um, yeah, it's always good versus evil. And so, like, it's like a soap opera with fighting. Right. So, if you think about it like that, it makes it more sense to, like, put people gotta give People gotta give respect to, to wrestling. I feel like everybody was a fan of something. Yeah. You know, I was, that was my life. I had all the toys, all the men that they didn't move. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> I received all of them. But even with like boxing and MMA now, a lot of wrestling tactics are used to show fights and to make it interesting. Like, 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 like the characters. Floyd Mayweather, he was a normal fucking just a good boxer until 2009. When he got out of his promotional contract, promoted himself, and I'm gonna take one of the bad guys. He says, like, I took on like a WWE character, yeah. a bad guy, mm -hmm. money made with him. I made you? everybody hate yeah. me. Make everybody hate me, but they're gonna spend money to come And look at him, look how much money he makes. He made a billion dollars. And so it, it works. It does. If you look right. at what they did recently with Brock Lesnar, like mm -hmm. at the. Right. That, uh, they, it was straight up out of like a WWE yeah. like, promo. Like, like, I mean, what better person to do it for him? Right. He knows, he knows the, both, you know, the best of both worlds. Right. So. That's the problem. Yeah. That shit is cool. But, uh, so, you're back at it. I've always said you should fucking go back at it. Right? It's true, yeah. You got the, the personality of the original. You know what I'm saying? So you are like, about that? Not officially. I just did the um, the all women's turn to me on classic. I filmed that last week, and that'll air on the network. So I'm still. It's not for sure, but like. <laughs> <laughs> but look, but look. Here's the thing. This, this is how I see it. Like. When you have, like, we're in a fitness bubble, right? No, no, I'm just saying. It's just like, yeah. you're an active, yeah. energetic person. You got a lot of in, a lot of life. It's hard to just, it's hard to fully, for us to fully express ourselves just working out and making posts. That's what I've always said is like, because no. like, 10 years ago, when I was 20, I started doing like figure shows. Oh, like, I, I was always in fitness. And then, oh, like, any other I've ever done that, I'd be like, hey, you know, why did you know that you wanted to do professional wrestling? Because it's, like, a really hard life. Not only just, like, the the physicality in the ring, but, like, you know, you have to deal with, like, show business and the politics and, like, um, you know, the, press, the pressures of media and all that. And then also, um, you know, now things are changing with, like, the women's revolution and stuff, but it's a, it's a super male-dominated industry. So, like, everything about it. And so, like... Any interview I've ever done, they were like, you know, what made you decide that you wanted to, to wrestle? Because I always felt like being on stage or just being in, in like a magazine or whatever, it was like such a um, like a static version of yourself. And like when you're in the ring, like it's this fully dynamic um, version of you. And then like even though you have characters, um, especially now when reality is so much more a part of it, um, you it's so much easier to be like great or really be into it when it's like your character is an extension of you. So it's like, kind of, you get to be whoever the fuck you want to be, right. and it's like, cool, you know? Like you know they, yeah, and you can be over the top, and it's like, welcome. I, to think, your I, think, it's, I think it's amazing. Like, I look at everything like this, like, when I decided to fight, you know, turn pro. First of all, it always bothered me that I never turned pro back in the day, right? So then I'm like, you know what, fuck it, you know? And I did it, it was scary to me. I needed that. I needed that fear, personally. It's that joke, you know what I mean? But also, I'm thinking about my kids, my grandkids, my great great grandkids. We live in a time that we're we documenting everything. They got video. They can see. I wish I could see what my grandfather did. Like. Yeah. So like to see their grandfather like tatted up, fighting and shit. Yeah. They're gonna be like, oh, that's my yeah. grandfather. Yeah. You gotta push you know, them to, to we, do like, our shit. generation is the first generation that can, that have video documentation of their whole lives. I'm like, why not? All that we can fucking do it for sure. So that, so when we die, we won't forget about it. Yeah. But you can always go back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> always go back, like, oh shit. So right. I, think, I think it's cool. You know, I think it's cool. Plus, you know, like, she can get porn. So that's why I like fucking this. It's kind of fun. 
Well, and speaking of that, you have another fight coming up. I remember I talked to you a lot, like, when you were training for your first mm-hmm. fight. Yeah. And uh, there was, like, a lot of, like, unknown. Yeah. Do you, and, like, like now, it. now it's, like, a little bit different. It's though, easier that, now. Right? Yeah. yeah, I can coach right into it now. Um, they gave me a lot of fucking... I don't know why, but New Jersey Athletic State Commission gave me a lot of uh, pushback. You know what I mean? Why? Because of how I look. Because I'm muscular. <laughs> no, for real. They, you know, they, they, they were using, using drugs. They yeah. tested me. Right now, there's different levels of testing, of course. When you're in, like, when you're high level, and you're in a sanctioning body, like one of the titles, mm-hmm. championships, they have Olympic style detectors whenever they come, whenever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't know. But for this, they test you the day of. So they tested me right before, which I know. But as I walk out the rain, they pull me right to the bathroom and take me. Whoa. Wow. Where I just pop some shit in, in between. Yeah. Like, this will like, help. So there's no way I was going to embarrass myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because I knew the whole, not the whole world, but my little world was watching. Yeah. And there's people out there that fucking hate that. They want you they to They can't fail. wait. They're like, yeah. I know, I know, I know these motherfuckers. Yeah. And you're super so, open about that too, like, yeah, on like I, I don't, YouTube. I, I, I feel like, listen. First of all, there's so many young dudes who's out the gate top of them being super dangerous. You know, now, if you're trying to be a Mr. Olympia level bodybuilder, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. But the, the knowledge, the doctors, information out there to do is safe, right? But there's most of the people don't have those aspirations. Yeah. It's not realistic for them. You know what I mean? And they just out the gate top of them shit. And they're they're gonna have to need it for the rest of their lives. And that's where like the, the whole negative stigma yeah. comes from. It's like the people do, do it that don't know what they're doing and it's right. dangerous and they end up. And they and they overdo it. Yeah. And you have to do this twenty one years old and thirty five. Yeah. And then the inside is like they're fifty five. Yeah. That's some real shit. That's why I'm always talking to people with that. I get my blood work done every three months. Oh, you have no idea how healthy you are if you don't get that shit done. Yeah. That's why I'm always getting it and I'm always talking about it. But but yeah, but anyway, like, I'm happy for you guys. When I see you getting back into it, I'll like, that's what's up. I think it's, it's cool though, because like, we were, last year, I met you, what, like a little over a year ago? Yeah, and we're, we, we met online, but we met personally at the Olympia. Last year, last oh, year, a year ago. So we were Man, kind of- we seem like we've known each other longer. I know, that's but we've, we were like on the same track, like kind of, you'd been out of boxing, I'd been out of wrestling for like five years and then we were like both planning this like comeback yeah, yeah. and I remember just talking about like it was so much there was so much unknown and like I don't know if I'm gonna do this and like we we're both like training our asses off and I didn't have to come to your fight because my my comeback match was like right around the right, same time right, 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 right. Um, so I think it's cool that like we did it and it was like the same timeline right. and now we're both planning yeah. like our see when cause I remember you was very hesitant um, you probably be modest but I knew that once you started, that flame was going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you, you got, it, it's no reason for it. Like, and and I, I'm going to say this right here. I have no doubt that you're going to end up being in the circle, maybe fighting Ronda Rousey. You got too much. You're too dope not to. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you're not like just a regular, the girl, oh, this is another girl. Like, and I looked at, I've looked at a lot of these girls on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, you know on Instagram. Nah, I'm just trying to see the competition. It's like, we fighting, we fighting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just checking them out. I'm like, all right, who we got? Who we got? Oh, we're doing over here. Right. Right. But I feel like you got, you got star quality. You're interesting. I mean, you built up who you are. People who discredit social media talk shit about social media. They be like, I be seeing the memes like, if you had as much money as social media, whatever. They, they always hate me. It's like, calm down with that. There's something, there's a lot of goofy shit on social media, but it's something to be said about when you are just a genuine person and you build a huge following, you're that interesting to, to want to follow you. And it says something about you, you're coming into the space, because social media wasn't that big before, when you were wrestling before, right. right? But now it is, and you built up who you are. You got a solid foundation following. Your following is big enough for you to have a, a, a really dope ass business, making good money, yeah. having employees. That says a lot versus somebody just put a big pocket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you going into it now, you bring so much to the tape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it just makes sense. It, it, I have zero doubt. Zero said, doubt. Said it here first. Zero doubt. <laughs> well, thank you no for being so supportive. Sure. I'm going to make it to your next fight. All right, cool. And then you have to come to my. Yeah, I want to be there. <laughs>
I will walk you out. Yeah. I'm like, this isn't supposed to happen, but no one's going to stop you. Do y'all have walkouts? Yeah, it's just, it, it really is so dependent like on your character, your story, whether okay. you have like, a va- sometimes like, you have a valet, or you right. have like a faction, right, right, right. or whatever. But, um, I mean, the, the cool thing about professional wrestling is like, you can, like... Hold on, I'm sorry. You got it? You got it? No, 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 I need that oh. shirt behind. Oh, okay. Which one? That one. The cool thing about pro wrestling is that you can, there's no... There's technically rules, but there's like kind of no rules, and you can do what you can be, whoever you want to be, you can do whatever you want to do. So if it's like, if you want to be my valet, walk me up. Where's the valet? Like it's a valet? valet. No, it's like they call it. Um, it's like kind of an old school term. Like usually the women used to accompany the men. Oh. Okay. Like they nece- weren't necessarily the women. Were- you have to wear like a leather hat. <laughs> you wear whatever you want. Put a chain around my neck. <laughs> yes, okay. we'll work that into the gimmick. Put a rose in my mouth. That honestly, like that's what's so cool about that's wrestling. Cool. Like, you can, le- yeah, you can legit do whatever you want. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So we'll work on that. All right, okay. That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to that fight. And you're vegan now. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Did you thought I was thinking I was being weird when I was? I was like, I just like, didn't so. get it. You know why? It's because like, so I've been vegan for like four months now, mm-hmm. but um. When uh, you and you talked about it for a long time, and I, I was res- like, I always respect what, what other people yeah. do, and like, I, you know, whatever, to each their own. But I was in such a like super bodybuilder, you know, what, what you grow up with, like, yeah. is like the super bodybuilder mentality is like, you know, chicken, egg, white, right. and it's like, and so that was really hard for me to like get that out of my head. Right. And then um, I just like you and like a couple other people that I'm like really close to in my life, like really like preach about veganism. Mm-hmm. Not like push it on yeah, other but, people, but, but talk about, about it. Yeah, yeah, and like what it does for you and like why you love it and all that. And then so I just... And what did you feel? Like what's the biggest thing, the difference that you felt? I, um, I don't, like I just feel, um, I thought, oh, for sure I'll like, lose a bunch of muscle and like whatever. And that didn't, I just think it's genetic, I don't know. But like I didn't lose, I, I no, just no, felt, it, this, I just this, felt healthier. This like, is the thing. It's not, I'm even thinking yeah. genetic. It's fucking, okay. still training. Yeah. It's just that you see vegans okay. that don't lift weights. And they, there's and like a think, stigma. you think that that's it. Yeah. But I know a lot of vegans that feel like, fuck, well, that makes impression. Yeah. You know what I mean? They just so, look. Yeah. Well, I was like trying to get into it for a while, and then I would like wasn't like super committed or super serious about it. And then um, when I found out I was going to be doing this uh, the turn this turn for WWE, I was like, okay, hey, well, let me like set my shit up. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to do this kind of vegan. And then, um, it was way easier than I thought. And I was like, I'm always for like what you do and like going oh, super hardcore and what you do. So I was like, all right, let's do it. And it was like. Oh, okay. And it wasn't like a minute to basically eat anything. It was just, it was really crazy. And I, and I don't even crave the foods I before. So. I, I wish I would be yesterday. Um, I don't have the same relationship with food that most people To me, food is just uh, uh, a necessary means for me. It's just energy. Yeah. That's that. So I'm not going to manage about food. I don't have my food. Exactly. It's not like a food. See ya. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey. But it's food. It's but you know, I don't, I don't, I, it just, it's just what I need to do. Yeah. And I, I, I fast all the time. And you know, I lost, I lost the weight that I lost, and I haven't lost any more weight. And when I want to lose weight, I can lose weight. But it's not like you're going to struggle up and die. Like, right? you still, you still put the calories in your body. Yeah. You still, the best source of protein is from plants, because that's where it comes from. Plant You know what I mean? So, and I'm not one of those cult like beings. Or, I don't even like to call myself a vegan anymore. I'm more plant based because I don't have the same, like, I'm not gonna say radical, but the same, um, I'm not, not like a fucking activist or anything like that. And I love animals, but I'm not shitting on every farm because I know people who grew up on farm. Um, how are we talking about all the shit? Um, like, I can't believe you're leaving. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be here all week next week, though. I gotta bring my dog with me. Yeah, but I'm not mine. That's right. Huh? Seven days. Um, uh, we back up. We get All right, so. Oh, you said what? You, oh, what did you feel like health-wise with the switch over? 
Um, I felt like I had skin issues, like I have super sensitive skin. Um, and like just a lot of that stuff cleared up. And I, I'm not just saying, oh, because veganism is so great. But like I had a, um, and I like read a lot about it because I was like, this is pretty cool. Um, like I went through some changes that were negative, I felt like at first. Like I had acne, like which I've never had in my life, but I think it was just the change. And then after that, I heard yeah, and, that, and that, I, so I started reading a lot about it and like and listening to some vegan podcasts and um, there were people that experienced that and like, um, like I have eczema and like I haven't had that at all in like, the last couple months. So just like little things that add up. Um, <laughs> I haven't had problems with energy level. Yeah, I feel good. Like, I just and but because I also like I made the switch to veganism and then I started trying to get my ass off for this tournament. So it's like there I can't really tell. <laughs> like I got in a lot better shape, but it's like I also started training harder. But I know the diet. You look, you look a lot different. Yeah. Yes. My body changed a lot. Because like when, when, uh, when I first met you, I was like, um, I will do. I had literally just finished my divorce. I was still kind of dealing with a bunch of shit, I think. And then I was just like, not being away and just like, just kind of stressed. Yeah, I remember it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it was like a lot of things, so. Um, but so, in the, over the past year, like, I've made a lot of changes, but like, one of the biggest changes that I've made. I'm going to tell you, just like, come on, I'm going to get out of the box. Because I know what you're going to do, you know. I don't like it, but, but I like it in the sense that it didn't it didn't make you dive into the drugs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got stronger out of it. You know, you became a whole new fucking monster. Alright, love you, baby. Alright, thank you for letting me out the camera. Thank you. 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 Let me know, man. Come on, baby, I'm always here. Gotta get the house of the hills, man. All my friends got hundred million dollar house. I got shit. Let me know. All right, baby. Bye. Hey, yo, y'all here later? Come to my event over here. All right. Seven to ten p.m. Okay. Thank you. What's up, baby? You know it. Oh, what's up? Oh, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. I always rather watch you. I always talk about you. You know what I mean? And um, what you want to impress me? Like, you want to be deep shit. You're, when I'm looking at you on the ground in your office and doing this, I'm going to be sitting on the ground. You got my phone, bro. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> and your, 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 call, your conference calls in your room. Right. I do that too, though, but they you they probably no, do it more. It's even worse now because I got the lighting chair. <laughs> <laughs> Just slowly cold. coasting into yeah. grandpa life. I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, oh, guys. <laughs> I got it on mute, playing Call of Duty. <laughs> Turn it all down. But I ain't on no business, bro. But, you know, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. I see nothing but bigger and better things coming. I'm excited about the wrestling because I feel like that's going to open a whole new door for you in entertainment, period. You know what I'm saying? And not that you're seeking out, but it's just going to come. You know what I mean? So, keep that shit up. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Training. Yeah, that was my first time ever like doing anything to do with boxing. Do you think you're gonna keep doing it? Yeah, it's like however long we did that, it was like a good workout. Like Cindy and me, like he and me last week, we were together yesterday podcasting. Like he hit that his get past first boxing session. Love getting touch for us. Yeah, I think it's today I gave him one list of all the things um, you know I I wanna see everybody. I'm not telling everybody to go box. But Maybe like professionally or amateur, this, but just to do it. Yeah, just the, the it's workout so itself. It's such a fucking awesome workout. Yeah. And it's so, the okay, more you get into workout. it, the more you get into it, you realize how into it is. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm telling you. Like, see, y'all didn't hit, hit, y'all didn't, y'all hit pads, but not like combinations and stuff. Once you start getting into that, you like, oh, your body will get fatigued because of the mental fatigue, but you gotta act like you're not fatigued. It's yeah. fucking crazy. And then you take it to the next level and you actually end up with somebody. Yeah. Remembering that shit. It's, 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 it's amazing. not just physical, it's kind of um, you have to have the connection between your mind and yeah. what your hands are doing. It's yeah. 80%, it's 80 percent mental. I was taught that when I was a kid, and it is. Which is crazy because it is so much physical too. So it right. goes to show you how much. Out of here. It's a wrap. See, I'm not.